Hi, everybody. This is Bernard Ishibante, and this is Offing River Forum. Welcome. If you have not subscribed, or this is your first time, I will ask you to subscribe and share with your friends and family, relatives, everybody, and let them know that you find a forum, Offing River Forum, that is very educational, highly informative, and intellectually engaging. We talk about, we discuss about social economic issues, geopolitical issues, cultural, education, everything that is going on around the world. And so whether you live in the United States, like I do, or you live in Africa, Ghana, China, everywhere, you'll find something educational, informative, something you probably, you know, have never heard about before or don't know. So that is, that is the forum for you, for you of Finn River forum so today i promised my viewers i was going to talk about the role of the court you know in republic form of government or representative democracy such as the one we have in the united states or in ghana or in nigeria but today because of uh some ongoing development concerning or regarding soccer you know the fifa Soccer Federation of International Football Association qualification games that is ongoing around the world. So I would just want to talk about it with special emphasis on the just ended game to match game between Ghana and Nigeria. Because I've been he hearing so many things, especially from our big brother side, Nigerian side. It makes it seem like somehow Nigeria or Nigerian soccer is the most powerful soccer nation in the whole world. Probably they have even get have won World Cup about two, ten, twenty times. Because if you listen to the way, especially I'm not saying all of them, majority of them are talking because they lost to Ghana. Ghana has qualified over Nigeria to represent, you know, to go to be one of the African countries to go to the incoming World Cup. In the upcoming World Cup in Qatar, in Asia, or in the Middle East. So Ghana and Nigeria engaged in a soccer match. The first leg was held on March 25th. That was Friday, March 25th, in Accra, the capital of Ghana, Accra. And the score was 0-0. It was a tie. Nobody scored. It was a goalless draw. And so in soccer, if it's a goalless draw, they have to go to, they have to have a return match in Nigeria. The first leg was in Ghana. It was a 0-0. Nobody scored. So it was two-leg game. So they have to have a return game in Nigeria. So that game happened on 29th of March in Nigeria, capital of Abuja. You know, it's about 60,000 capacity stadium you know, where they had a match on 29th of March. And the game ended 1-1. That means it was also a tie, but there was a score. It wasn't a goalless like they had in Accra on March 25th. It was 0-0, but in the return game in Nigeria that was held in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, the game ended in 1-1. So Ghana score first and Nigeria get a penalty or a spot kick and so they get that to cancel out now so it was a 1-1 one -one game so according to the FIFA rule they out the visiting team since they scored since they get a goal even though it's 1-1 one -one game because of the rule FIFA have their way team is supposed to be the winner because their goal is counted as two because they are a visiting team and they come to your home, your backyard, and able to tie with you a goal, a piece. So Ghana, on that, in that sense, Ghana won. And so Ghana qualified at the expenses of Nigeria to go to the World Cup. That, was, that is to be held in Qatar in either uh, October, October or November somewhere, you know, in the fall. Okay, so because of that, Many Nigerians, right after the game, was a, a lot of stampede, violence broke out. And why? Because Nigerians, 
from them, according to their beliefs, they think they are powerful, they are more stronger, they, they, they have the largest, biggest economy in Africa. Because think about it, Nigeria is the most populous. In terms of population, they are the most populous black nation in the world. Nigeria is the most populous. They have a more population in terms of black, you know, predominant black population than any other country in the world. So the size, they have a large market size and everything. So because of that, they think they have been harboring that kind of sentiment or that kind of feelings that somehow because of their size, and Ghana is about, they have a population of about 29 to 30 million. So if you compare Ghana to Nigeria, Ghana is a very small country, population-wise and even the landmass size. So, in soccer, when the game happened and the Ghana won to represent Africa, will be, Ghana will be one of the five African countries that are representing Africa in the World Cup. Nigeria thought that Ghana, how can Ghana come to their backyard and eliminate them at their expenses and about to go to the World Cup game that, were, that was to happen or that were to happen somewhere in the fall of this year. So there was violence everywhere in the stadium. There were fans were throwing bottles and all kind of stuff, and everybody is was running away everywhere because they have they have they have lost to Ghana in the soccer game. I hope but even one of the officials, soccer officials, according to media report, I cannot verify it, media report, one of the soccer officials. A foreign soccer official from either Zambia died. Uh, I don't know whether it was as a result of the stampede or wherever. I don't know. I cannot verify that, so I can't say anything much about it. So that is that's how serious the whole thing was because Nigeria lost to Ghana. Okay, so let me let me break this down. The reason I'm talking about it when it comes to bragging, especially when it comes to soccer bragging. I would say Nigeria brag. They brag more than any other country in the world. I don't know why. That somehow they think in Africa, they are the most powerful soccer nation in the world. But if you look at the statistics and everything or history of African soccer, it's not true. It's just Nigeria using their size, like I talk about might, because they're bigger, they have the largest economy and everything. They think somehow they should be they should have their way or everything that they do with the smaller countries. So they lost to Ghana. Ghana beat them. And they, they, they pissed off. But guess what? If you look at the history of soccer between Ghana and Nigeria, Ghana is way ahead of Nigeria. And that is a fact. The first time Ghana and Nigeria met in soccer, I think, was in 1950. Ghana won the game. It was 1-0. Ghana won. Subsequent years after that, yes, the highest score Nigeria has ever scored Ghana was 5-0. to zero. Nigeria scored Ghana 5-0. to zero. And Ghana, the highest score Ghana had scored Nigeria is 7-0. to zero. You, see the, you see where I'm coming from? Nigeria's highest score ever over Ghana is 5-0. And Ghana's highest score over Nigeria is 7-0. Think about it. Okay. In the African Cup of Nations, the whole African tournament, soccer tournament games, Ghana has won, has won, become African champion four times. Four times. Nigeria, three times. The first time Ghana won, became African champion was 1963. The first time Nigeria became African champion is 1980. You see the statistics? So when you hear Nigerians bragging about soccer, I see they, they, they are the most powerful, they are powerful soccer nation than Brazil, than Germany or everything. It's just like, it's, it's kind of insane because the truth doesn't bear them out. It's not true. Okay, so, so far, so far Ghana and Nigeria has played, they have played soccer about 58 times. Of, let me say by 56 times. 
Let me, let me just take the two, the recent two that they played, just played in March. The March, just this past month. Before this past month, in March, Ghana and Nigeria has played soccer matches since 1950 up to this March, 56 times. Ghana has won 25 times. 25 times in soccer. We have been in Nigeria. Ghana has been in Nigeria 25 times. The records are there. Nigeria has beat Ghana 12 times. Right? And then they have drawn 19 times. They have met 56 times. Ghana and Nigeria have played soccer match since 1950 to, to March of this year. 56 times. And out of that 56 times, Ghana has won 25 times. Nigeria has won 12 times. And they have drawn 19 times. So what is all this bragging and all this uh, violence and all this? Like I heard somebody, you know, talking in one of the Nigeria YouTube or in media channels saying, come on, Ghana. How can come on, Ghana? beat nigeria yes we are beating you more than you are beating us we have won african championship four times nigeria has won three times the statistics are there yes nigeria have nigeria has gone into world cup about six times or seven times ghana has gone three times but guess what ghana is one of the three african countries that has able to reach quarterfinals in 2010. Nigeria has never reached quarterfinals in the World Cup. That matters. The game that matters, Nigeria has never, ever reached quarterfinals. The only three countries in Africa that has ever reached quarterfinals are Cameroon, Senegal, and Ghana. So the so-called powerhouse soccer nation, Nigeria, has never reached World Cup. So what is all this about? Why are they so bragging about everything? Right? Even in politics. Let's even move from sports to politics. Ghana is the first country south of Sahara to get independence. In 1957, Nigeria, the so-called big Nigeria, gained its independence in 1960. As a matter of fact, the first president of Ghana, Nkrumah, he helped and inspired Nigerians and other countries to, you know, give them all the strategies and tactics to win, get get their independence. And so, what is all this bragging about? And again, when Nigerian turned start killing themselves in the civil war in the sixties, Ghana was one of those countries that had to broker the peace. And there was a, a peace accord in a city called in a town called Ebri. Ebri in Ghana in nineteen around nineteen fifty sixty seven. They call all the Nigerian leaders. Gowon was there, Ojugu was there, all kind of the uh Major Major Johnson, who was the governor of Lagos, was there. All the Nigerian top leaders were in Accra, in Abri, in Ghana. And because Ghanaian leaders at that time, led by General Ankara, was trying to broker a peace deal between the war in fashion in Nigeria, when there was a bloody civil war in Nigeria, it was Ghana was part of the nations. Little Ghana was part of the nation that was helping Nigeria from slaughtering or killing themselves. So please give us a break and stop bragging about as if Nigeria is so powerful in, you know, in terms of soccer than Ghana. No, if you look at statistics, Ghana has beaten Nigeria more than Nigeria. Beating, we have beaten Nigeria. Ghana has beaten Nigeria 25 times. Nigeria has beaten Ghana 12 times. So which is, we have drawn 19 times. So what is the point? What is the point? And so when you hear Nigeria bragging everywhere they go as if, because yeah, the size, true. Nigeria is bigger than Ghana in terms of population. The economy, yes, the economy is bigger because they have large over two, almost like 200 million people. Yeah, that's true. But size doesn't make a country powerful. Other than that, Israel wouldn't be that powerful. Israel is a very tiny country, but it's very, very powerful nation, military and everything, economy, everything. So size doesn't determine how powerful a nation is. It's strategy and critical thinking, 
We have been in Nigeria so many times, so please, I just want people, because I hear a lot of people, I was listening to a lot of Nigerian media and the way they were describing Ghana as if Ghana is a, like a, a weak soccer nation that, you know, couldn't have been in Nigeria. But the, 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 the contrary is the, is the case. It's not true. Ghana is more tactical, stronger in terms of soccer than Nigeria. The statistics are there. We have met since 1950. We have met 56 times. We have beaten, Ghana has beaten Nigeria 25 times. Nigeria has beaten Ghana 12 times. We have drawn, Nigeria have, Ghana and Nigeria have, you know, have drawn 19 times. And so, before the match, this past match game. So please, please, let them stop bragging as they do all the time and all that. So that is what I have for you. So share, subscribe and share and spread it and let everybody know that Nigeria, when it comes to soccer, they are not, they, they, they are learning from Ghana because Ghana has been African champions four times. Nigeria has been African champion three times. The first time Nigeria became African champion was in 1980. The first time Ghana became African champion was 1963. Think about these statistics. Man, come on, guys. So that's what I have for you today. This just I just want to vent it out because it was something I have to let it go because I hear all Nigeria brothers and sisters, yeah, we are all sister nations, but let them stop bragging about all this common Ghana, this and that. I see we, we, we don't beat them all the time. So that is what I have for you. Subscribe. Once again, this is Ophir Media Forum, Ophir River Forum. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share with your friends and relatives, and spread the message, and let everybody know that Nigerians are just, soccer fans are just bragging. What they're talking about doesn't reflect re realities on the ground. Thank you so much, and I'll see you another time. Have a good day.